traveler to Westminster Stories. Believe it or not, you are currently standing in Westminster Hall, the grandest, oldest building at Parliament. You are. Don't believe me? Look. We're working on a project called Storyality with UK Parliament and we're bringing Westminster Hall to life through an immersive audience engagement platform. So what we were aiming to achieve here was to, to bring to life the stories of Parliament, the stories of our democratic heritage, our history of rights and representation in innovative and engaging ways, not just in Parliament within Westminster Hall, but through a remote experience for these to be accessible around the country. So when they open the app, they're magically transported into Westminster Hall. Uh, we use 360 degree photographs and we use uh, immersive audio. So a narrator starts talking them through the journey and explaining they're now not in the place they thought they were. They then get presented with choices which appear as portals, sometimes doorways and sometimes windows that allow them to sort of take agency. In 1865, I became the very first woman to qualify as a doctor, and after me, they changed the rules to stop any other women obtaining a licence. It was important to us that it's, it's not just um, a passive telling of a story, even if you do choose multiple perspectives. We wanted people to feel, how is this relevant to me? What's my viewpoint on this? Where do I fit in? So before they experience these perspectives, we pose a, a question, a simple question, and deliberately provocative and binary in nature. Here's another question for you to ponder. Do petitions work? We use text-to-speech engines to create the narrator's voice and the voice of the characters in the story. And in user testing, that worked really well, surprisingly well, actually, in that most of the testers didn't notice that it was artificial voices that were used. And obviously, that, that cuts down dramatically on the cost for audio production. It also paves the way in the future for easily being able to add on multilingual layers to this. So it was really exciting. So the benefits of this project to the heritage sector could be huge. There isn't much money. They need a cost-effective way to attract visitors to their places. They need a cost-effective way to tell people about their places and, and to raise awareness of them. The process of being part of this fellowship has been hugely rewarding and valuable for my own research. It's made me think about immersive technology in totally new ways and open my eyes to many more opportunities, both for my own research and for collaborations with heritage partners. The difference that working with Story Futures has made to our business is that we feel better connected to academia in a really positive way and able to have that close connection with the academics and the expertise that they bring has been really crucial to arriving at this, particularly our solution of, of multivocality and, and representing history in this different way. We wouldn't have that understanding or expertise without it. Thanks for exploring the Westminster Stories prototype. In the full version, you will be able to move from story to story, choosing your own path and making decisions about some of the big questions from Parliament's history.